How's it going guys? Weston here with OpticLEDGrowLights.com How's it going? Check that out. Hope you guys are having a dank ass day. Yes, let it be a dank ass day. Slim 600H. Samsung. Samsung. Horticulture specific. LM301H. So Samsung, of course, makes these uh, horticulture line of LEDs, and that's what these white LEDs are. This is a, a mixed white, but there's 2,760 LEDs on this fixture here. And we also have the bloom enhancers, which are key to that world's finest bud quality. The deep reds, the royal blues, and you'll see the same thing when you come over here to the optic gate. But one difference is the optic gate has infrared and UV as well. So I'm just trying to take a look there. Oh yeah, you can see the UVs right there, boom. You have infrared and UV. On the Slim 600, you would add that with one of these Slim Bloom Enhancers, boom. That's what that is right there. But also, just want to show you guys what we've got going on in the showroom. And we're going to hit up those touch screens. Because, man, that new Optic LED Touchscreen Master Controller is the best touchscreen controller out there. Super affordable price. And, and, and I've, heard, uh, I've heard that Master Controller price is going to be even getting better. Or there may be some better bundle deals. There's still that optic bundle discount code where you get a hundred bucks off when you buy any optic LED and you add the controller, boom, hundred bucks off. So check this out. We put up, what a beautiful light that is. I've grown with this light and it produced a huge monster size, just bushy bush. And it was a hefty yielder too. There's only a one plant grow. Amazing bud quality too. I actually have been uh, medicating with some of that not too recently here. Actually today, that's the truth, okay? <laughs> All right, oh, of course, yeah, we can click this into manual mode if I wanted to be able to manually adjust the dimmers. I can do that. Almost all the optics have dimmers. I love the dimmers. Cobs off, low, off. Put it back into touchscreen mode, of course. And then we could come over here. Let's see here. Oh, nope, that's for the slims. This is supposed to be zone two over here. You'll see now I should be able to turn those cobs on just like that, you see that? Cobs are on, off. Bloom enhancers, if I wanna turn those up, you got a lot of bloom enhancer power on that light. Look at that. Look at that, you got a lot of bloom enhancer power there. And those are so bright, you can really see, yeah, look at that. There's four of them in there. It's that newest Optic 6 Gen 4. Such a badass light. It's a thousand dollar light. And then if I do this, go into zone one, oops, zone one. Now over here, it's the Slim 480. And we also have the Slim 320, 320 watt four bar light. And here's the Slim 480, check that out, boom. This is a six bar light here. Check out the par numbers on this thing because they're incredible for 480 watts. I actually have this light hung up at my house right now for when I'm gonna grow with it next. I have the Slim 480 up and I also have the new Optigate up. That's at my home grow. 
Look at that, Slim 480. What a beauty. And of course, she's hooked up to the touchscreen controller. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. I can come over here and dim her to off. Back on, all the way up, full power, and then back down. So, and I've got the one touch screen, of course, running this Optic 6, and also these two lights are tied together on the second channel because it's a dual zone touch screen. And all that means is you have two hookups on the bottom. That's all that means. Zone one, zone two. It's as simple as that. Hard line system, you just plug her in. Makes it bulletproof. You're never gonna have to worry about problems. Like, oh my gosh, is my wireless parts connecting? You don't ever have to worry about that. It's connected. So hope you guys are enjoying your day, enjoying your week. These are the two baddest lights around. And big time shout out to all you growers out there who've been buying the Optic 8 Next Gen and the Slim 600. It's, it's pretty amazing how popular this particular light right here is. The three-way dimmability definitely puts it in a league of its own. So if I want to go into manual here, I can go into the manual mode. Uh, if I wanted to, oh, everything is dimmed down. So I could turn just the bloom enhancers up. Then the corner cobs, it's that bloom cob that hits these corners. Imagine pounding your corners with that on full power bloom enhancer. It's amazing. And then to, to pump up that PPFD, then bring these in so then you have all everything on full power 550 watts this is a super size light 28 by 28 for a square fixture that's gigantic and the slim 600 for bar lights this is ballers they come the best of the best at every level including the cooling runs way cooler than any of the other bar lights out there It'll blow your mind, guaranteed, by using underdriving all the components to a more extreme level on a, a more overbuilt cooling system with fanless tech. That's the eight bar light. And now you ask any Slim 600 grower, they'll be like, oh my God, dude, you won't believe. There's like no heat emission on this thing. It will blow your mind. Now, the cool thing is it's a three and a half foot by three and a half foot fixture. The Slim 480, we made the same exact size. It's also the three and a half feet by three and a half feet. We just spaced out six bars onto the fixture and it has a different mean well driver. But if I dim that down to off, look at that. It's just a badass looking light, super clean, professional, medical grade looking. Just nice and clean and smooth. Yeah, the manual dimmer is nice. I like to be able to go in here and do the dimmers. You have to have dimmers with these high power LED grow lights. Especially if you're trying to get the high yield. Because having the dimmers, then you don't have to adjust your hanging height all the time. What a nightmare if this fixture didn't have a dimmer and I had to change my hanging height all the time. I would waste so much time on that. So let me know what you guys think about the showroom. Let's make it a great day. And I will catch you guys on the next one.